Yeah. It's nice, the sunshine's nice, the weather's really good. We all think we like a, like a, like a bit of summer until the heat gets yeah, too much. Yeah, especially at night, and everyone's like, oh, it's too hot, can't sleep, it's unbearable. Uh, well, Alice Bitt has been on the lookout for all the gadgets on the market to help keep you cool. Morning, Alison, you've been testing them all morning, you and Stanley. <laughs> All morning, let me tell you, every member of the family has had a different gadget in their bedroom overnight. In fact, I had to wait for one teenager to wake up at 10 o'clock in order to wrestle the air conditioning unit out of her bedroom You're this brave. morning. <laughs> You're brave. Um, yes, you can... <laughs> Oh, I know, I know. Uh, luckily, uh, I sort of bribed her with a bit of breakfast and all was good. But we have the technology, but somehow... We get caught by surprise, don't we? The whole time we're just suddenly, oh my goodness, it's so hot. We've got nothing in our houses apart from an old fan that doesn't really work and makes a hell of a noise when it oscillates. Um, we're not equipped for these sudden bursts of heat wave and they're here and they are gonna keep coming back. And as I say yesterday, all across the UK, we had phenomenal temperatures, 39 degrees, possibly higher today. Now let's look at the fastest, most effective way to cool down a room and that's air conditioning. Very few homes in the UK have fixed air conditioning. We just can't justify it, we don't need it really. It's also very, very power hungry and not great for the environment, but a portable unit is a really, really useful thing. Mostly, I have been put off portable air conditioning units because they have been so big and lumbersome and expensive. But I have found one that is less than £300. It is relatively easy for one person to move around. It comes on wheels. It's by a company called Miko. They're based in the UK. Miko Cool. It is £279.99. It's available directly from Miko. They've sold out on John Lewis. Um, you can also buy it on Amazon. It is, it has a remote control and uh, yeah, daughter number one was enjoying this last night because it is quiet. Um, it has several different speeds. Uh, that's it on pretty much full now. I don't know if you can pick it up on my mic. It's not, uh, you know, it's quite easy to just get it to a... a, a noise level that's easy to sleep with and it has a sleep control so it can switch off after a certain Alice, amount of time Alice, and it doesn't I just need ask, to battle all night. Sorry, yeah. Can I just yes. ask, don't you have to have one of those horrible great big pipes tubes. out tubes out the window then for an indoor unit? Yes you do. So look at this. Okay. So tube going out the window which is removing the hot air now, normally, OK, that's a bad thing because you've got the window open. And my advice, obviously, is during a heat wave, keep your window shut, keep your curtains shut until the heat's gone from the day. But this company, Miko, actually provides you with um, a window kit so you can block the rest of the window. And, yes, you've got an ugly hose going out the window, but you can kind of cover that up. And who cares what it looks like from the outside? Because, frankly, that will cool down a room before you go to bed so that you will be able to get a good night's sleep. So, yes, you still have to have the hose going out the window, but it doesn't really matter. It's very easy and flexible to bring inside. Most homes will, though, be able to make do with a fan of some kind. And there's so many different kinds on the market. OK, Eamon and Ruth, how about this one? There's a desk fan from Any Day. Do you know Any Day? It's the John Lewis value brand, basically. And this is only £20. Just a warning, you do have to assemble it yourself. So don't send one off to Grandma thinking she can plug it in straight away. It does have to be put together. But for £20, it's got various speeds. It oscillates, as you can see, through quite a big angle. And frankly, I've been standing in front of it and it's been heaven. Yeah. <laughs> now, what a good tip is, if you want to replicate air conditioning, is uh, put some ice cubes in front of a fan. Right. And then you will be blowing the cool air into the room. Good idea. Yep. So yep. that's not a bad idea. Exactly. How about this little baby? I love this. We've been fighting over this one. This, again, is from the Miko family. They make all sorts of cooling um, instruments and, and gadgets. This plugs in through USB, so the back of your computer, and then it has a 14-hour charge. It's got three different speeds. The head moves up and down. Even if you were to sit that on your table outside while you're having lunch, put it in your caravan, your tent, have it by your sun lounger, or even put it by down by the dog. I mean, here we go. Stan, is that nice? Oh, is Stan. that nice, darling? There we go, oh, Stanley. Stanley this, 
<laughs> this is a great little piece of kit. $29.99, again, from Miko, available Amazon or uh, Miko Direct. But no cable, so practical. Um, just move that one around. So next, we can't do something on cooling and movement of air without mentioning Dyson. So Dyson, this is the pure cool me. It's £299.99, so it's expensive, but it is more than just a fan. Fans, as we know, just move air. They don't generally cool air. But what the Dyson one does is it purifies as well. It has a filter which removes 99.95% of particles and pollutants from the air. And when you change the, the filter, you can see what it's doing. It dissipates the cold air, so it actually fills the room rather than just what this fan is doing, which is blasting the back of my legs beautifully. Mm -hmm. um, so the Dyson, you, you're getting what you pay for, but obviously it's an expensive piece of kit and they do look very cool. Um, next, how about a tower or a pillar fan? So this is from John Lewis again. These are quite useful because you can just stand them in the corner of a room and they just don't get in the way. This one comes with a remote control. It oscillates through 90 degrees. So um, I'm, <laughs> I've now got everything up and running. So I hope the national grid doesn't go down. Um, this has got various speeds, very effective. This is the kind of thing I'd want to put in my parents' house in their sitting room. It's gonna keep them cool and make them feel a bit refreshed. Let's turn that one off for now. Now, obviously, if you're standing in your man-made fibres, it doesn't matter how many uh, cooling gadgets you've got, you're going to build up a bit of a sweat, says she in pure polyester this morning. So think about wearing cotton or linen and then think about your bedding because bed is where we get the hottest. So this is a, a range from John Lewis. Cotton is great but linen is even better. This is 100% linen from John Lewis. The pillowcases start at about 15 pounds. I think the fitted sheet is about 35. You can see by looking through it how much, how breathable it is. And that's gonna wick away the moisture from your skin. Now I'm just gonna run you through some really fun gadgets, okay? Because there's so many great companies that actually make fantastic technology that um, will help you stay cool. So this hat, you activate it by dropping it in water, submerging it, and then it, the panels keep the water inside and you wear it. It's got UV protection and that will keep you cool for up to 10 hours. Similarly, this company, Techniche, they make vests for Formula One drivers. You're not going to wear this around the house. It's about £68. But if you're running or working outdoors or gardening, I wore this yesterday doing my chores. Again, submerge it. It's got this water stability system. And it keeps you really, really cool. In fact, this still feels cool from using it yesterday. This is a great piece of kit. Um, again, simple things like ice cubes or bowls of water around the house. These are reusable ice cubes from Lakeland, $5.99. I love these and they don't dilute your gin and tonic. That's or it. you just grab yourself a water bottle. This one's from Amazon by Linglen. And this one has got a spray function as well. So you can mist yourself as you drink your gin and tonic. Oh, very nice. Happy days. Yeah. And very wise to wear shorts and not a skirt today with all that air blowing around today, Alice. Mm. Oh, wafting, wafting. <laughs> I'm bound to get things saying you're too old to wear your shorts. Not but at all. You who look cares? fantastic.